Step two, you set your levels. So double click on the south elevation under the project browser and then use the level icon to select to create more levels. On the architecture, you find the level, you click it and draw as if you're creating a line. For more details on how to create level, check out the previous video uh, at the top of the screen. After creating the levels, we rename them very quickly. After setting up your levels, we'll go to the floor plan to set up our grids. Double click on any level you want to work on to create your floor plan. Inside the level, on the architecture is the grid. You click on grids and then you create them. To understand how to create grids properly and how to explore grids, there is a video already made at the top corner of the screen. You can check it and see how you can use grids in your, in your design. Step three, create walls, doors, and windows. To create walls, on the architecture, you click on walls, select wall architectural, select the specific type of wall. For us, is the 225 mm wall. Set the height of the wall, uh, set the location line, and then just go ahead and draw your wall. To draw your wall, since we have our grids, we are just going to draw our wall along our grids very quickly. Drawing your walls in Revit is like um, drawing lines in AutoCAD. You use the escape button to go out of a line if you don't want it to be continuous. Under the Modify tab, we can use the icons there to split and trim walls. So we have the split element. We also have the uh, trim element, different types of trim elements. You can explore them as you use Revit. We'll quickly go ahead to create our doors. Under Architecture, you click on Doors. Select the type of doors based on the template you have loaded. Place the doors on the wall. You can use Spacebar to control the swing of the doors. And after placing, there are also arrows to flip the doors. Temporary dimensions that apply immediately, you place the door and you can use the temporary dimensions to properly position the door we can go ahead to place windows click on windows and quickly look at very few windows we have loaded in the project and uh, we're just going to place quite a few of those windows for the toilet windows we can use a, a smaller kind of windows the next thing is to create a floor on the architecture you click on floor architectural it goes into a sketch mode and i thought click on this line and then sketch out the floor so we've created very quickly floor doors wall and window.